Thursday, July 7th. I was traveling through Greyhound and I was stranded in Indianapolis. Three hours after our departure time, our bus driver decided to show up. I was quite surprised because she was well rested. She replied to all of the concerned passengers. Uh-uh, don't you even start! I don't want no attitude! Fifteen hours later, I showed up to the American Legion where I was playing bingo with Papa. Also competing was George. Alas, he was one number away from winning $500, but he came out with nothing. Fucking 070, man. That's all I fucking needed. Damn it. But no, my day was not over yet. I still had to compete at the karaoke contest at Down Under. After the contest, I had to retrieve my car, and my car's battery was very dangerously low. But it makes sense too, because I accidentally left the radio adapter for my phone on for a week and a half. So the next day, I was job hunting. It kind of sucks. And that night, I ate a very strange peanut butter cup. I should have probably only ate half. Instead, I ate three-fourths of that peanut butter cup, and I saw something like this. During the restroom break of my epic trip, I went downstairs and noticed something was burning in the kitchen. Papa was cooking eggs in the middle of the night, however, he forgot that he was cooking eggs and he fell asleep. With the burner on high, there was fire shooting out of that pot and I extinguished it immediately. He needs some better care because he has become old, decrepit, and now very forgetful. He does very well for an 85-year-old man, but the fact remains, he's still 85. So my trip went from an exciting trip to a very bad trip. Yeah, I received that phone call this morning. Rookie. The trip has subsided. And now I must recover to do this week's episode. <laughs>